Have you ever wondered what is actually being built when you build muscle? Then watch this as I explain the anatomy of muscle and the process of hypertrophy. So here we have a muscle. The bulk of its mass is called the belly, and it has tendons that attach to bone on either end. It is surrounded by a protective layer of connective tissue called the epimysium. If we cut into the muscle, we can see it is composed of several parts. It is filled with blood vessels necessary for supplying the large amounts of nutrients muscles require, and nerves necessary to make the muscles contract. It is composed of subsections called fascicles. When we take a closer look at a fascicle, we can see more blood vessels and nerves, as well as the next layer of connective tissue called the paramyceum, and of course, the muscle fibers themselves. Looking at just one muscle cell, we can see it is a pretty complex structure. It is surrounded by yet another layer of connective tissue called the endomyceum. A very unique aspect of the muscle cell is that it has several nuclei, and that is actually the secret to how it builds muscle. Nerves penetrate as far as they have contact with the cell, what we call a neuromuscular junction. These motor neurons are responsible for signaling contraction in a process where they polarize the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Inside the cell are the myofibrils surrounded by the sarcoplasm. Within the sarcoplasm are glycogen stores called glycosomes, and myoglobin responsible for oxygenating the cell, as well as large amounts of mitochondria that make the ATP necessary for contraction. Inside a myofibril is where the magic happens. When a muscle is contracted, the sarcoplasmic reticulum floods the cell with calcium ions that activate the proteins actin and myosin. These are the actual proteins that contract the muscle. After doing this process to the point of exhaustion, your muscles become depleted and damaged. Nearby myoblasts donate themselves to the repair and building of new proteins. When we say we need protein to build muscle, this is why. Amino acids form together to create the actin and myosin proteins that increase the strength and size of the myofibril. Continued stress to the muscle will also cause the increase of nutrient stores and the sarcoplasm. When the cell is repaired and rebuilt, it now has more nuclei thanks to the myoblasts that merge to rebuild the cell. You can see how the increase in size in the myofibril increases the size of the muscle fiber, which increases the size of the fascicle, and thereby increasing the size of the entire muscle. Additionally, the blood vessels also increase in size, and the neurons form stronger connections to better contract the muscles, what we call muscle memory. And that is a process of hypertrophy and how your body builds muscle.